No worries. I'll point them out, no problem. Perfect. Oh, good stuff. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Brendan, can we first of all just start with your, your thoughts on your team's performance and then perhaps your thoughts on the, the campaign in general overall? Well, I thought it was a brilliant team performance. Um, started the game very, very well. Great composure. You know, Manchester City, they want to press you and, and get up close to you, but I thought our possession, our control, our positioning in the game was very, very good. Um, and it led us to, to getting a great opening goal, which we thoroughly deserved. We're disappointed with the, with the equaliser. We get stretched a little bit, um, which they can do, and they're entitled to do that, you know, because they get some top class players. Um, but then for the remainder of the game, you know, how we pressed the game, how we forced Manchester City to play you know, a lot of long balls, uh, winning the, the ball back, and then building our game up to great composure when we had to build it. And uh, so the energy and the quality of our game was at a, a real, real high level. So, um, so disappointed we didn't win because we had chances, chances in the game. I don't think Craig had too much to do, um, but uh, but now overall delighted with our passing, our movement, the speed in our game, and and like I say, fundamentally you have to be really well organised at this level. And I thought how the players tactically um, concentrated in the game, it was it was very very good. The campaign overall, absolutely delighted. Firstly, our the objective was to qualify. And after our first game, uh, we knew that the level that we were at. But I always said this was a, a team that was ready to, to learn and develop and progress. And apart from the first game, in the main, our performance level has been very, very good. We competing against certainly two of the, the superpowers now in European football who haven't been beaten by Manchester City. Arguably could have won both games. Um, but absolutely proud of the team and uh, and it now sets a standard for us to continue with this development and uh, and look to go on and win the league and be ready to to go into the qualifiers for next season again pleased with some of the individual performances tonight Gary Mackay Stephen coming on and player we've not seen much of yeah yeah he's and he was a threat he's disappointed he hasn't scored um but yeah but what I like about Gary is he he, he goes beyond the defenders I like players that can go and break the line and and running behind with speed and, and aggression and press the game. So uh, he's just been unfortunate that he's been out injured a lot of the pre-season and the other players had come in and done well. Um, but it was just about him getting an opportunity and, and I felt that this was a nice time to stick him in and that should give him a lot of confidence. Robert, Bre Brendan Roger, um, Roberts was terrific tonight. Do, do you think he played as if he had a, a, a point to prove? No, I don't think so. I, I've been really impressed with Patrick in the build-up to this game because he hasn't shown any sign of any emotion. You know, must you know, couldn't have been easy for him thinking that he's a Manchester City player to come and play. But I think he showed his quality, the kid. But I think he showed that he's in the right place at this moment of his career. There's no good of him sitting on the bench and not playing. And it's great that Manchester City allows him to to play in a game like this here. And I think you've seen tonight, you get a top young English talent, brilliant goal, work pressed the game well and uh, showed his, all his qualities. So uh, I'm very proud of him in terms of his concentration and uh, and his quality in the game. Brendan, have you been given any indication that Roberts could stay for longer at Celtic? And do you think that he's a player who can fit into this City team? Does he have the quality to get into this? He certainly has. A superpower. Yeah, no, he has the quality. There's, there's no doubt about that. I think when he signed these agreement before I came in, it was for 18 months. And the idea was that, you know, you get to his age, you need to be playing games. You need to be out playing and getting the experiences. And, and obviously, you come to Celtic, you get 60 odd thousand every other week. Huge club, big expectancy. And he's he's dealing with that remarkably well. He's won a league title. He's won a league cup. So he's understanding to becoming a winner as well. And, uh, and I think that he'll come back. I'm sure he'll come back here in the summer. And Pep and his staff will have a real good look at him. But I think they'll be encouraged, really encouraged, what they've seen tonight. Because he, he's technically gifted. Tactically, like I say, he's improving that element of his game because he needs to understand how to press the game and press the ball. And physically, he looked very strong. So um, you got a young English talent there that's that's a big talent, and um, I'm sure there'll there'll be a big career for him here. Okay, sorry, M middle there. Sorry, thanks. There's a mic there. Thank you.
apart from an easier draw, uh, what do you think this team needs to make the last uh, to make the last sixteen next season? We need to qualify first. <laughs> we need to go on and we need to win the league, and then we've got to get through six qualifiers, and then we'll sort of reflect on it. Then I think I think the beauty of this team there's been hardly any players brought in. Um, the players have been grown and confidence and belief and developing. Like you see, the, as I said, the game tonight to come here to to this stadium where I've been a number of times um, and to play that well and with that belief and concentration was was a huge credit to the players. But there's there's still a couple of areas that we need to to improve in. Um, but if, again, if we can qualify and, and be in the competition next next year, I think it's safe to say that we'll be we'll be even better. You know, seven eight months down the line. Ben, ben, can I ask you how, how James Forrest is? Because is, he was playing very well before he went off. Yeah, very well. I think he's, he felt a tightness in his hamstring. I'm not sure if it's gone or not, but um, he just felt it a little bit tight. So um, he had to come off as a precaution. OK. No more questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.